Hello and welcome to this video on how to set up your gradebook in Moodle. I'm uh, Jason Morgan in the English department here at Shaw University. And setting up the gradebook is a challenge in Moodle. Yeah, and so this is going to show you how to do it in uh, version 3.2, which was released in May of 2017. Um, and that's what we're going to be using hopefully in the fall. It's upgraded again. It hopefully it won't look too much different than what we have now. But such is life. So. Um, this is a class that has not had anything set up for it yet. This is a class that I'm looking at right here, and um, I just entered into it in Section 7 of English 110. Now, how I got to this screen over here was I just clicked on Grades. I just clicked on Grades, oh, and it brought me to here. If not, if, you know, this is like the main page just to show you, look, nothing is set up yet. Like, nothing is set up yet. I, so I'm going to set up my gradebook before I do anything else, okay? So I click on Grades. Oop. And it brings me here. Now, okay, well, that's fine. That's a grader report, but I need to set up my grades. Okay, so what you do is over here is change this to, well, grade setup. Really? Yes, gradebook setup. Okay, and it brings you to this new things. Now, um, the first thing you want to do before anything else is change this, where it says right here, change this to edit settings. Click this to edit settings. And you want to change this. It's not the mean of the grades. You want this to be the weighted mean of grades. Change it to weighted mean of grades. That is the whole thing for this class. We use weightings, um, different categories that have different weights. And so we need to have the weighted mean of the grades. Okay, so then we hit save changes. That's the first thing you need to do before you do anything else, okay? Now, I will tell you there's more than one way to set up this grade book. Uh, I'm going to show you a way that works, a way that I would recommend. Um, this is my third year at Shaw, and I finally figured out a way that actually works and makes sense. Again, there's more than one way to do this, but uh, if you have no clue or you're really struggling, I strongly recommend you follow this. It may not make a lot of sense to you when you're trying to logically figure it out. Um, good luck with that, because anyway, it is what it is. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hit Save Changes. All right, now we need to set up our category, so we need to add a category. Click on Add Category. Okay, well, what category are we going to add? Well, that's when you would go to the syllabus. So the syllabus was posted on the Moodle shell. And we're going to have these different categories here. Okay. Each one of these is going to be its own category. So I will just copy attendance here. Just copy that. Notice that that's 10%. So I'm going to go back to Moodle. I'm going to give that this. And for giggles, I make it myself easier. And I actually just write 10%. Okay. Now, notice. It says mean of grades. No, we don't want that. That's bad. Boo. Change this to simple weighted mean of grades. Okay, attendance is 10, simple weighted mean of grades. Um, this is every category is going to be simple weighted mean of grades. Um, why is it simple weighted and uh, mean? What does that even I don't know. I don't really particularly care. I know it works. Yeah, okay. So there's that. Okay, so then you're going to go ahead and hit save changes. That's all you're going to do. And now you notice that you have a uh, so they set up attendance. Woo! Now attendance is worth 10%, so we need to change the weight of that to 10%. Now this is where math comes in. So 0.1 is the same as 10%. Okay? 0.1. Boom. That's one reason why I have written over here just to remind me how much it's supposed to be weighted. Fantastic. Let's move on. Let's go ahead and add another category. Okay, and I go back to this, and it's gonna be quizzes and assignments. I note that it's 20%, so we'll just copy that. And go back to Moodle, copy this is an assignments, 20%, simple way to make grades, save changes, change that to 0 0.2. Why 0 0.2? Because again, it's worth 20%. This category is worth 20%, so 0 0.2. Okay, save changes, fantastic. We're just zipping right along here, add category. Next category is writing project one. Okay, and that's worth 10%. 10%. Okay, so go back to Moodle. I am project one. Simple way to paint the grades. Oops, that's what that is. 10%. Okay, save changes. Okay, and again, change that to 0.1. Okay, next one is writing project two. Writing project two is worth 20%. Okay, so just copy that. Yeah, again, you could, what we're doing here for English 110 can be used really to teach any class at Shaw. I mean, it can be set up the same way. You're just going to have different um, 
categories and with different percentages, but the process will be the same. So the process will be the same. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Okay, so we're going to hit the save changes there. And we need to add the next category, which would be running project 2, and that was worth 20%. Pretty sure, double check. Yep, 20%. Again, simple way to meet the grades. Save changes. 0.2. Da, da, da. Okay. And add category. And again, I know this is Rotting Project 3. And I know I could have just copied and pasted it and just changed it, but I'm just showing you, and just in case your categories and your other classes aren't as uh, logical, I guess. Dun, 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 change that to point 0.2. Okay. Add another category, which would be the final portfolio. That's 10%. And the last but not least, the final exam. Again, these are set by the school, so you have to have these same weightings. That's required. You can't just, just arbitrarily decide, oh, I'm going to have to be worth 15, or this is going to be, no. This is decided by the school. We've been told that we have to have this as the same weightings for English 110. Every class has its own different categories and stuff like that. So you have to refer to the syllabus for that particular um, class, just as a FYI. Final exam, 10%. Simple way to mean the grades. Okay, and then change that to point 0.1. Don't need to put the point in there again. It changes. Okay, well, believe it or not, that's the first thing you need to do. You Now, congratulations, you have set up your grade book. Save changes again, just for giggles. And you're like, really? That's it? Okay, why did I do this first before I did anything else? Well, because, um, and as I'll show you in a different video, what's going to happen is that when you go to create assignments, um, you will then assign them to a category. So every assignment that you create, um, you will then assign it to the category. Well, guess what? Now that you have the, you can't do that unless the categories have already been created. Ah, smart, huh? Yeah, so create the categories first. Then when you create the assignments, you can direct them to which one they would go into. Hmm, interesting. Uh, a note, so you may ask, oh, fantastic, you set that up. Now, is there any way I can copy these settings for this section and do that for section, let's say, 10, which I'm also teaching. The answer is, I don't know how to do it. I've asked. There's no way to do it. I think you have to set it up for each individual class. Boo! As far as I know, there's no way to import the grade setup from one class to another. I will check on that again. Um, maybe with Moodle 3.2, it's a thing, but as of right now, um, you have to set this up like this for every single class. Yeah. Now, it may seem like a pain in the neck. However, down the road, it will save you a lot of time and effort when you are um, doing this. Also, the way uh, you are required to keep grades in Moodle, and with this set up this way, students can log in at any time and see their grades and see what they are currently earning in the class at any given point in time. So, yeah. So this is the first little video on this, which is how to set up your gradebook. So... There's that. So we'll have more videos on more specifics about this, but that's the first step. So get that done first. All right. Yay.